Hey everybody! In keeping with the new practice of updating my field reviews as I revisit fields that I reviewed several years ago, I'm going to update my review of Battle Creek Paintball in West Milford, New Jersey. I got to play at Battle Creek recently, and I hadn't been there in a year and a half, maybe two years, something like that. To recap from my old review of Battle Creek, uh, the price, $35 for entry and air. It's bring your own paint, but they also have several grades of paint available. The safety is good, but not great. The refing, good, but not great. Definitely adequate, middle of the road, but it's nothing special. The fields are overall pretty nice. They have a couple of kind of hybrid wood speedball fields. They have a castle field, which is cool. They have a couple of pure woods ball fields that are all natural covered, so you get a nice diversity in the fields. Now, the things that have changed since the last time I was there. Let me start with the safety. As I said, the refing hasn't really changed that much. It seems to be about the same caliber as it was, which was good but not great. But one thing I did notice was that they were uh, very diligently checking the velocity on everyone's markers that brought their own marker throughout the day and had zip ties to actually mark people's markers after they had been checked so you knew that everyone's velocity had been checked. They've also made a number of improvements to their fields or in the process of making a number of, of improvements to their fields. So some of their uh, kind of front fields, if you want to think of them that way, fields like the Junkyard Field and Castle haven't really changed very much because those are more or less complete. They're a little bit smaller, there's not a whole lot of room to do things. But some of their larger and newer fields, like Crossfire off in the back to one side, has gotten a whole lot of new bunkers. And uh, the smaller field called Jamestown, which is kind of an urban kind of thing, has gotten a number of new bunkers and structures since the last time I played there. Finally, they actually do not have a speedball setup right now, but they are in the process of making what is going to be apparently a very, very nice regulation size speedball field uh, with very nice drainage and everything and nice turf. It's not done yet, but it looks like it's coming along very well and it should be very nice when it's done and it's approximately twice the size of their old speedball setup. So that's nice too. Field improvements are always something we like to see. And then one thing that they did that I had never seen them do before but I really, really like is that they split up partway through the day the newer players from the experienced players and played different groups of players. I don't know that they had really enough refs to do this because then they only had two refs with the larger walk-on group, um, which for some of the larger fields and size of the games was maybe too few. But splitting up the experienced players from the newer players is a great thing that every field should do. So major props to Battle Creek for instituting that practice. Now the last thing I want to talk about is kind of the controversial part of the review from last time. You may or may not recall that the part of the review that kind of ruffled some feathers was my take on one of the home teams at Battle Creek, which I'll tell you uh, was the Blackhawks. They kind of outed themselves in the comment thread for the last review. So the Blackhawks in the past uh, I had observed and other people had observed and they had this reputation for kind of stomping on the new players and not calibrating their play to the group they were playing with. It's a big problem, it's not unique to this group or this field, but it's something I commented on and people didn't like that. Just recently when I was at Battle Creek, some of the Blackhawks were also there playing and I want to say a couple of things about them. One, they definitely toned down their play or rather calibrated their play based on the group they were playing with. Earlier in the day, they played one way and then when they split up the groups into the rec group and the experienced player group and the newer player group and the experienced player group, there was a lot more paint and a lot more aggression going on in the experienced player group than there had been when those players, those same group of players, were playing with the rec ball group. So two thumbs up for calibrating your play to your opponents. Second thing is I saw one of them, uh, we were chatting a bit, he was actually playing with a pump and I hadn't seen that before and uh, I think all experienced players should play with a pump but I'll take pretty much anything I can get. Any experienced player that's playing with a pump in the rec ball game or really any game as far as I'm concerned, uh, I like that. So that's uh, actually a major improvement from what I had seen previously at this field where this team previously I think had maybe not been the best citizens of the field. Now, uh, at least in this one instance that I witnessed much more recently, uh, we're doing a pretty good job calibrating their play, playing pomp, not overshooting people, that kind of thing. So to summarize this update to my review of Battle Creek, uh, you've got improvements to the field, some of the fields, some are done, but some are getting constantly improved it looks like. You have some safety things that weren't there previously, specifically the checking of the chrono very diligently and marking people's markers when they were checked off. You have the new practice for this field of splitting up the experienced players from the new players, which I really like. And you had uh, a group of players that were previously problematic, I think, that are, at least in this one instance, not problematic and were in fact 
very good paintball citizens, I think. So overall, nothing bad to say. This was an improved experience over the last few times I played at Battle Creek uh, a year and a half, two years ago. So good job. Thanks for watching. See you next time.